Good morning, Cyber Traders. Welcome back on this Monday. Was it March 23rd? My God, it feels like every day is Sunday now. Actually, now the market's open, though. How's everybody doing? Good to see you, Michael. Ken, good to see you, Cliff. Everybody, good to see you all. Welcome back. Hold on, I'm just get my uh, mic up a little bit louder. All right. Everybody ready for another crazy market open? <laughs> Come on, wake up, everybody. Where's the excitement? There you go. There you go. Beautiful. All right. Well, listen, I, I could tell you, I did an event over the weekend uh, with Metastock. There were over like almost 400 people in there the weekend. And, you know, I, you know, I do events all the time. But let me tell you, the excitement of how many people want to now start learning how to trade is out of this world. And, you know, I'm going to repeat what happened, what I said on Friday. I mean, on Saturday, I'm going to say today. You know, I guess everybody heard what happened on, on Sunday and uh, how the, you know, there's like this bickering going on in Congress. And, I, and I'm telling you, this is like ridiculous. I, I honestly, you know, I don't care what, what side you want. I mean, we have a virus. We have a problem taken care of. And let me tell you, if they don't pass this bill today, you could see a serious, serious correction in the market. We have to defuse this as soon as possible. And us being in the stock market, guys, that, you know, we have to save these companies because they'll destroy everything. It's going to be a trickle-down effect, a big, big trickle-down effect. And you could see it now. The, what happened this morning, market's up pretty big right now. We're about 400. We were up a little bit higher. We were up 700. We were down almost, we were literally almost down, a, we were down 1,000 points as of Sunday when that stuff came out. And then we were down, we came back a little bit today. And then all of a sudden, it was an upgrade on Boeing and stuff like that. I traded this morning, did pretty well. But, um, but the Fed came in and says they're buying everything. And they really, really step up. They're doing everything they can to save this economy. You know, remember, this is not the financial crisis. A lot of you weren't back, trading back then. I was. I mean, this define. This is not. This is just a. You know, it's like having the flu. We eventually, some people are going to get ill, and some people are going to do okay. We just. But when when you're destroying these these companies and the economy you have, we have to do. We have to defuse this as soon as possible. We really, really do. All right. But um, but there have been some great great some rallies this morning. The um, economy's. Uh, once it's over, it will explode. Ken saying. Oh, yeah, by, but you know what, Ken. You have to do it like immediately, like you heard Manucha just now earlier on TV. You got to get it done today. You can't wait because let me tell you, tomorrow you'll you could listen. One thing I learned about the trading market, you can't predict it, but um, as in like how bad it's going to be. But listen, I'm just a, I'm just a follower. I'm not a leader. I just listen what they say, and you know what? Whatever they say ends up being two, three times worse. So that's where it comes down to it. But anyway, regarding about what's going on in the market, I can't tell you what a better time it is in the market to trade than now. And I just want to repeat, and I kind of fell off what I was talking about on Friday uh, and then what happened on Saturday for the webinar that we did with Metastock. I mean, I tell you, we pretty much, we, we had so many people that are registered that came in that want to learn how to day trade. Uh, so many people that were out there. And uh, let me tell you, First thing I told them, obviously, you know what's going on with the stimulus package. And all I kept on saying is this, okay? Do you really need a $1,000 stimulus or whatever per person? Or would you rather make $1,000 a day in trading like some of the stocks that we traded? I mean, you know what? Let the, give it to the people that really need it. But you have an opportunity right now to do this all every, every 10 minutes. We killed it this past week. I, like I told you, I never traded so much in the past week than I probably trade in several months in a row. That's how exciting it's been. So the market's doing great. This is your opportunity. This is, this is what you train for. Let's go out there and do it. Now, we have a lot of new members that are joining us. I'm going gonna, I'm gonna to address it after we've done our Morty meeting. But I just want to let you guys know, I hope you're not sitting back there and just watching. Remember what I just put in the chat room earlier. Trade one stinking share. Okay, one sticking share, because I know one of the hardest things people have is hitting the button. You got to know how to hit the button. You just got to buy. You know what I mean? And you got to know get out. But most importantly, this is where people are blowing up their accounts. Do not try to pick the bottom. If you try to pick the bottom this morning with that big rally, you would have got crushed. Scalp, scalp, scalp. Take the money and run. You can always buy it back. 
you, you know what? You, you're better off keep buying it as it goes up and selling it and buying it because there are people two weeks ago, three weeks ago, they're still trying to figure that out and they're getting destroyed. So please keep in mind, all right? Remember, I'm going to tell you where the bottom is. The bottom is going to be when you have the worst of the worst of the worst of the worst news and the stock's not going down anymore, then that's a good buy. That's how you know when to hit the bottom. All right, now let's talk about some of the stocks that we traded on Friday. For some of you that are new here that missed out, we had a pretty good day on Friday. Jesus, we had a killing with this stock pen. Holy crap. This thing was all over the place. Let me fix the time frame on this thing. Uh, there we go. Why is it not? There we go. So Penn just literally went from 7 to 11, just exploded. Another gaming company. All the gaming stocks took off. We killed it with a lot of the gaming stocks. All the casino stocks, not gaming, casino stocks. You know, all of them were just making big, big rallies. This one did really, really well. One of them, which, I, well, honestly, I never heard of this stock before. I heard of Win. I heard of Caesars. I heard of, you know, I heard of MGM. But this one, but everything did move, and this is one of them. Uh, what else we had? The BL, BLPH. Another one that was a crazy one. Stock literally popped from 6 to $28. Where do you find that? Yeah, you know where? You find it right here. This is what we traded. Let me tell you, I, I did a... I did a, uh, a uh, Instagram post on it, and I'm telling you, people are like, oh my God, I mean like, and now more people are starting to realize, geez, I'm in the wrong business. But <laughs> let me tell you, it's all the business you're gonna make more money than doing what we're doing right now. This has just been great. Listen, it's sad, unfortunately. It's terrible. I understand what's going on, but at the end of the day, you know, when I was, I, I got affected by 9-11, you know what? When the market opened up, I had to put my head down and go out there and trade. Because once again, you know, people, like doctors have to go in and save lives, you know, and, and, and this, is what, this is what they were trained for. Unfortunately, we never wanted to be like this, but you know what? They're doing what we're doing. As a trader, you know, this is what we do. So got, please go out there and just do what you do best and, 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 you know, put your head down and trade. Now, there are a lot of stocks that are moving this morning. I know some of you are already making announcements. Uh, Charles saying that Delta is doing a double top. You know, um, Ken saying... Uh, an FF flag and and an AYTU. I'm gonna talk. I'm gonna talk about that. Those are a couple of stocks we're gonna watch. First of all, let's start off with the AYTU. Now AYTU just made a nice little pop. Um, I don't know if anyone here. Let me just fix the chart right here. Make it a little bit better to read. Okay, so we've been trading this this morning. Um, we started at eight o'clock this morning. That's where program trading started kicking in, and then obviously did a little bit of shake around eight forty. Everyone should probably had it right around the seven dollar seventy, you know, right around there. But now she's starting to make a big little move. Really strong stock going into the open. Exactly what we're looking for. This is that one stock we traded a couple of days ago. Went from eighty cents to two eighty. Remember, guys, this is not going back to two eighty. Could it? Absolutely. But that's not how we trade. Stock traded ten million shares already in pre market, and we're not even open yet. We got we still got eighteen minutes to go. So that should tell you something on that one. But this stock, if you were listening to me in the cyber group room, I was trading it. Just follow the time and sales. It's just like, a, it's just a give me, you know, you watch the time and sales, you see the transactions, you know exactly where the direction of stock is going. E Y R H. Another one had a nice little pop with us this morning. Eight o'clock went from a buck 40 all the way up to about a buck 90. This is out of the stock we trade two days ago. The stock went from a dollar to four fifty. you know, it's got a little bit of shake here. Not as many shares, only 3.7 million, but another nice little pop right there. Now, um, by the way, uh, Blue Apron also, APRN, another nice little stock that's got a little bit of move this morning. I don't know what happened. She's up only 23%, but listen, this is what we call a short squeeze. We've learned it. We've done it. Be careful, guys. You know what I mean? So you learned it from other stocks, and people are like, I don't understand. They were talking about it on TV, you know. Because, but I, listen, we buy on rumor and sell on news, okay? So when news come out, people think, oh, maybe Blue Apron, $20. Now they're at 10 Listen, that's why you got to learn how to day trade, okay? You got to learn how to day trade. Take the money and run. I don't know what's going on PCG, but that thing's gapped up this morning. 21%, 300,000 shares. That's kind of weird. I don't know what this has to do with the coronavirus. But anyway, that one's up a little bit nicely this morning. M-I-T-T. Uh, <laughs> talking about getting destroyed, right? I would look at a bottom fish on this one, but she looks like he, she she's probably testing the lower lows. That's why I like about it. What happened a couple of days ago, you can see it there on the long-term chart. Not a lot of volume, though. 
130,000, but if you look over there on the right, not really a lot of uh, orders on level four. Uh, now, listen, a lot of brand names are moving. Delta's moving, okay? Market right now is down 250. Uh, I got one minute. So Delta is really pretty much hiding right here, right? The highs, AAL, all the airlines, all right? Uh, they're doing okay. DA, that one's gapped up really, really nicely this morning, but now she's starting to kind of like even out right here. I did pretty well on that on that BA trade. A lot of all the, look, Disney, they all made nice little pops when that news came out. Look, Disney went from 83 all the way to 89. So anyway, um, listen, very important. You want to play Russian roulette? Hold the stock and see what happens, what Congress does, okay? You might do very, very well. Actually, you'd be doing, you could do really well. But even that stimulus package is still not going to, you know, there's going to probably be more that's going to have to come out. But if they don't, you know what? 140 down to 85 in about less than, about a, a less than two weeks in Disney. Could that happen again? People always ask me, how much lower could these stocks go? They could really go a hell of a lot lower, okay? But you know what? We got to have these, 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 I don't even want to call them in Congress, but they got to get their, their, <coughs> their thing together because we really got to, we have to, we have to, we have to support these companies before it can cause a major problem. Remember, if they go out of business, all their employees are, are going to be unemployed. And you know what? It's just a trickle down effect. So anyway, let's see what happens today, but just scalp and just be careful. There's a lot of good brand name stocks out there. And, um, you know, that we could, we could day trade, just focus on putting limit orders and getting it at the price that you want to get. And also we'll make sure for some of the students in here, you all know, make sure you put your bids and offers out there and make sure you know you're buying it at what level. Do not chase, okay? Let the stock come to you. If it goes up, great, let it go. People are always looking to take a profit. All right, so that, uh, that's basically said. So for everybody, good luck. If you're new here, don't go anywhere. I'm going gonna, I'm gonna to address that. Just want to close out the live broadcast on YouTube. And uh, so I don't wish everybody there good luck, all right?